I need to find myself out here. Two hundred kilometers should do the trick. Stay here. Very special. Very special place. Right, guys there you go you see it that plane has left me all by myself for the next 200 kilometers it might take me 10 days it might take me 20 who knows we're gonna paddle ourselves out of here I've got my swift prospector pack boat it's 14 feet long I'm super excited for this trip I'm looking to connect with nature again I'm gonna take it slow and learn a lot I cannot wait to see the adventures that I'll get up to on this roughly two week trip I am alone by myself for the next 200 kilometers. I'm in Wapakimi Provincial Park. Feels good already. It feels good already. Got a fish on. I've been paddling for a half an hour or so. Oh, the old snot rocket. Fish number one. And that sun is hot. It's pretty early in the AM still. And uh, as soon as I turn and face the sun, holy smokes. Like it's, uh, it's, it's hot. And this isn't even one of the hotter days. It's supposed to get up to 30 in a few days here. Oh, that'll wake you up in the morning. Smoky, smoky. Anyway, I just turned on to the Palisade River, and I'm going to be using that river to access the rest of my trip for the next couple days. And then we're on to different river systems and different lakes and things like that. I have some paper maps that the outfitter Bruce at Wabakimi Outfitters provided, which are super helpful. They have some uh, campsites where the good fishing is, all that stuff, and the portages. So on my map, it's marked a 250, 250 meter portage coming up soon. And I imagine it's around this little bit of a waterfall, a little rapid. 
No campsites are marked here in Wabakimi, no portages, nothing like that with signs or anything. So it's up to you to find them. But they're always in the most common place, common sense spot. I can hear moving water up there, so I assume I'm coming to my first portage. All right, here we are. First portage in a brand new spot. Let's see how she goes. And we're walking through an old burn with a bunch of nice vegetation growing up. This is really pretty, really pretty. Dragonflies everywhere. The weather has changed. It's completely clouded over, not even really sunny at all anymore. And the black flies are out in swarms because of the cooler weather. So we're just in this little section of the river right now. Just got past another portage. Got a 75 meter to come up. And then I think I'm gonna uh, be in the boat until roughly my camp tonight. I'd like to get to camp before it rains. It's, uh, it's noon, I'm going for four hours or so. We'll go for another couple today. I think I have a decent walleye on. I got something for sure. I might, oh, he's running. It is a walleye, sick. Yes. Right at this little, end of this little inflow to this lake. Looks like a decent walleye too, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this guy to eat. My first walleye here. He's a decent size, he's healthy, and I have uh, only two small portages until my camp, so I think we're gonna keep this guy on a stringer. Bonus! Wally. Wally Keeney. This looks pretty wild in here, man. Pretty raw. As far as you can see, it's just that. <laughs> that. That. There's a moose over there. I didn't know some here. Still grazing though, so we'll try and get a little bit closer. Not too close. Are you coming closer? <laughs> it's curious about me. You a good girl? Hey? Ain't scared of me, that's for sure. Alright, that's probably close enough, eh? Um, what? This moose is extremely interested in me. Extremely interested in me. It's following me down the shoreline. So that's a new, new thing for me. There it goes. That is some rather large wolf scat. Okay, a little overgrown. Okay, maybe I can carry it now. Oh look, it's right here. I bet you there's some fishies in there. Let's see if I can't pull a little wall out of here for fun. 
dragonflies are out. I'm super happy about that. We got another portage right after this. Right after this little pool here, it's 250 meters, and then I'm on to the last stretch for my uh, until my camp. Did pretty good for time. It was a short day today. It is two, and I started at roughly eight. So that's six hours actually. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. That's about roughly what I want to be traveling per day. Is six hours. That's what I've worked out for this trip. We're still on this river system. I'll be camping on this river. It's all the same water system, just uh, portaging around little bits of rapids and swifts and low water. I think this is the next one right here. Still on this burn, but there's some trees that haven't burned around here, some taller, older ones. I think this is the portage here. Yeah, I see a blaze on the tree. It's a little pool in between two portages on the river, and it is gorgeous. I have a really weird feeling right now that there's a big animal around. Uh, let's go walk this portage and be kind of quiet with the camera and see what we can see. My like, neck hair is standing up. I think it's just this area with all this fresh vegetation. It's like seven feet tall all around me. It's like a cornfield. I can't see anything. Looks like really good fishing right there. First cast right in this little pool after the after the waterfall. Woo! Wants to go. Woo! That's a walleye, nice. Ooh, some blue on it. I don't know, just uh little green on this cheek. Number two. Look at the little shine on him. On the cheek there. You see it? So we're up two pike, two walleye today. See if we can pull a couple more out of this hole before we head down the river a little bit. I don't have any designated spots I need to be at or whatever, just spots that I thought I might like to stay at and some uh, exceptional sites that the uh, outfitter, Bruce, told me about and wrote on the map. So might as well stay at the nice ones, right? But I do like exploring and finding things on my own as well, so that's an option too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a bit of better, better of a fight than the last one. It's a pike, I think. Oh, no, walleye, nice. Look at the color of his cheek there. Right there. Super green. Pike. <laughs> it's a good thing I caught Mr. Pike here. He's got a leech onto him. He's got a little leech onto him. Let's see if we can't help him out. Oh yeah, there we go. You're welcome, bud. There you go. Turn into a big old boy. Peace. So I just left the fishing hole. You can still hear the waterfall, I'm sure. And I come over to this little island and it's full of moose poop. It's really weird. It's completely full of moose poop. And this. 
Are the moose cannibals? Are the moose cannibals? <laughs> Unfortunate little guy. That's his hips right there, so you can tell the size a little bit. Uh, and the vertebrae, so pretty decent size animal there. I don't know if it was a moose or a caribou. I would assume the moose because of the size of it. Cannibal moose. Da -da 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 cannibals. All right, it's starting to sprinkle. I gotta get a move on. Super pretty in here. This is probably a good little walleye hole, I bet. It looks to me like the burn stops right there. See those trees that start to have needles? And then, and then it looks pretty decent, actually. Just relaxing in this wider part of the river. Toss my little Cleo, my trusty little Cleo out. Yet again, another fish. I was starting to get worried that this place wasn't going to be super hot on fish when I didn't catch like a million in an hour. <laughs> but I'm good now. I think I'm pretty happy now. You know, this is fish six. I haven't really even been trolling much. I've been casting more than trolling, actually. But that's what's different than here, from here in Woodland Caribou. For those who don't know, this is a, one of the big three wilderness parks in Ontario. Woodland Caribou, Wabakimi, and Quetico. And I'm doing all three this year. And this is my first trip to start those three trips. There he goes. Okay. Um, I'm feeling really good. The sun is behind a bunch of clouds. It's not raining. The sprinkling stopped. I like had a feeling that I, sh I just stopped here for a minute just to relax. <laughs> and I've had a feeling like I should throw the, the lure in. I'm not even really too close to shore or anything like that, and I just only got a hit. I'm, I, I like catching these little pike. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I'd like to get a couple trophy pike on this trip. I'd be happy with that. Northern Scavenger Boys, I watched their trip from here, and they, they cleaned up. No, and Alex freaking cleaned up the monster pike, so I don't want to be left behind, you know? I like those guys a lot. But it's been a good day. You know, moose on video, skeleton of a moose on video, tons of fish. I saw a bald eagle, couldn't get it on video. Uh, loons. Bugs were pretty bad for a bit, but that's to be expected. I'm sure they'll be on and off. This is the biggest trip I've ever done um, by myself and that I've ever like planned and done, uh, regardless of with someone or alone and this is the most remote park you can get to this park gets less visitors a year than woodland caribou uh to put it into perspective algonquin say gets like maybe roughly two million that might be wrong this gets like 500 visitors a year um yeah so it's all new to me here first time and very excited very excited to see what this you know, t almost two week trip will bring. The day looks different yet again. It's like 3.30, blue skies now. Some sun. I'm gonna pull up to that campsite. Looks pretty good. I might have to get a tarp up for some shade, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Finally here, I'm finally doing it. Day one, and I'm at camp. This feels good. It's a long. I planned this for a long time. I think this rock is my campsite. No, that's not it. I do believe I see it right there, though. Yep. I'd say that's pretty awesome. Look at that landing. Boop. All right, let's go check out this campsite. Pretty open. There's some shade right here, actually. Oh my goodness, it opens right up in the back. Oh yeah, this is stellar. This is on point. Holy smokes. Look how much it opens up. These are all blueberries. I'm a little early in the year for them, but oh man, look at this. 
What a campsite. Thanks, Bruce. Man. I can go anywhere. I go all the way back in here if I want. Hang my hammock, put my tent up. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I'm stoked on this. Can you tell? I was expecting, like, everything else I saw was, like, pretty cramped. Like, definitely doable. One or two tent pads, maybe. You freaking put an army here. This is insane. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm here. I'm in love with Kimi. Oh, man. Big solo trip. Big solo trip for Joe. Firewood. Oh man, this is cool. I brought a hammock and a tent on this trip. I brought a hammock that I can sleep in as well as lounge in. And I brought an underquilt, like a thin one to double up with my sleeping bag. So I can, I can sleep in the tent, sleep in the hammock, hang out in the hammock or tent, whatever the case maybe whatever I need at the time. Um, right now I'm pretty tired and I want to stay in this breeze and it's sheltered here and out of the sun. So I'm just going to set this hammock up and lay in it for a little bit, let my feet dry out. I've already cleaned the fish up and uh, it's four o'clock. So I'll lay here for maybe an hour, two hours, cook up my fish and have a nice supper. Looks like there's bear poop right here. Nice. I do have a pair of camp shoes that I'll put on after, but for now, no socks, no shoes. Hang out in the hammock for a minute and dry everything out. Rest. I'm gonna journal a little bit on this trip. I'm gonna journal a lot on this trip. All right, in business now. Keep the bugs out. Oh, she's a little low. That's okay. Oh. Oh, yes. Hammock for the wind. Holy smokes, what a day, what a day. I don't imagine the rest of my trip I'm gonna see anything like this, firewood stacked or even this nice of a campsite. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of this while I can. There she's going, good. I got cornmeal for fish crisp this time. Fish crisp type thing made of cornmeal, I should say. Nice. You wish my food. All right, folks. I'm a pretty happy boy. <clears throat> got my fish and my rice. I'm gonna do some fake lemon is all right with me uh, my fish right right following then I got this whole spice jar I'm gonna do some salt on the fish
Yes, I am. Okay. And I have some watermelon Kool-Aid water additive that I put in my, my water. I got more fish and more rice other than this, but let's bite. Let's dig in. Wow. That's perfect. And the cornmeal uh, fish crust mix tastes fine. Tastes pretty good, actually. That's really good. It's a little hot. This fly just rolled up out of nowhere. He wasn't here before. It was to fly. Coming time for dinner. Pretty rude. Mmm. I gotta show you this sky here. That's what I'm talking about. Back. Right there. Oh, it looks like a sheet of rain. Yeah, it looks like a wall of rain coming down right there. Wow. The wind is coming from that way, so whatever that is, is coming my way. I gotta eat my food! Eat my food! In the north, like where I am, every time I'm around here, the weather changes like crazy. I've never been to this park, like I've said, but it's a general area. Weather changes so quickly. It's pretty daunting. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Oh my goodness. What a scene. Oh, it's pretty dark right above. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> we might be in for a treat here. I just saw lightning strike right in the middle of the frame over here. It did rain for a little bit, nothing crazy. Enough to make me put my jacket on, pack up most of my stuff. Um, but there's blue sky behind me too. But I certainly 1 million percent saw a lightning strike straight down there. So I'll uh, keep the key. The camera handy. See if we can get another one. <laughs> we out you. Okay, it's coming in. We gotta get in the tent. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh man. Kind of need this stuff in here too, though. Okay, get in here. Come on. <laughs> I'm having fun. Honestly, I really am. I'm pretty wet now. My stuff's my stuff's pretty wet too, but that's okay. It'll dry all out. Oh man, I'm so happy I'm here. In preparation for this trip, I knew I wanted to film a lot, but I didn't want to bring a lot of cameras. So I bought myself a Goal Zero power bank. It's pretty heavy. I got this little small power bank, but this is the new one, the Sherpa uh, 100. It doesn't have the solar power with it because I don't need it, but this is pretty darn heavy. Um, again, this is a normal size one. But, I pulled the Joe today and left my GoPro on for 45 minutes and I can delete the clip to get the, the space back on the memory card but the ba battery power is done. So I killed the battery today for the GoPro. So I have to plug it in and probably leave it for a few hours. There's still some thunder going on out there. Okay, so I got the GoPro 9, the trusty GoPro and I've got my Nikon Z6 that I'm filming on now. So to charge these guys. And this has the AC uh, outlet so I can plug in my Nikon, the main camera, charge it. Oh, I didn't know that could happen. That would have been better for transporting it. Silly Joe. And now this light is on. So we're good. Let's keep this out of the water. And the sunlight has come out. And it seems like it's gone away again already. I'll probably see if I can get on out of here because it's a little cramped. And uh, situate myself and, and relax. It's uh, 
It's almost seven o'clock. I imagine I'll be in bed by nine. Just thundering left and right. Like I'm cool, I can just go lay in bed if I need to. It's late enough where I feel fine about that either way, but it's pretty cool being out here. Okay. Oh, these black flies. They're real bad right now. For some reason, they're swarming. I want to get in this tent for a little bit. Oh, it's raining. It's raining anyways. Okay, inside. Ah. All right, I think we only let 45 black flies in. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey, okay? Frederick the fly is now my friend. Frederick! Fly, Frederick! More lightning, more thunder. It's pretty light out still. It's, uh... What is it? 7.10. Last night at the lodge, it didn't even get dark until about 10 o'clock. How pretty is that, man? This is the calmest it's been since I've been here, no wind. And I can hear there's some moving water over there and I kind of want to go fish it. It's almost eight o'clock. I just don't know about all of that right there. I don't want to be out in the boat if that hits. That. Rainbow is a good sign. The old first night Wabakimi rainbow. What the hell is that? Came down pretty decent. In the tent we go. Good morning. It's 6.30. I've been in this tent since like 8 o'clock last night. Rained a few times. Uh, but I slept like a champ. So it's time to get up. There's a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> messing around this morning. I'm pretty chilled and I'm quite hungry. I brought my big Boreal 24 saw from Agua Gear. It is a tank tearing through this wood.
I didn't know if I would have to clear some portages, I still may. I've only done one day. Uh, so I wanted to bring a big capable saw and I know I have used this in the past in many, many trips, the 21 version. This is the 24, so it's just got a little bit more oomph to it. That's going through that like butter. I have used this saw or a version of it for years now. Amazing tool. Pancakes are on the menu for breakfast this morning. Got some chocolate chips in the mix. Wow, it's pretty windy. We got some real deal maple syrup. Canada fashion. Mm. This is going to be good. I'm not putting it in my cup, or sorry, my, my dish, because I've already dirtied one this morning, this uh, frying pan, so why dirty two? And I could just eat out of the pan like a caveman. First bite. Chocolate chips are always a bonus. And a pancake, not just for children, not just for your kids. So I'm not really sure what the plan for today is. You know, it's part of the fun out here. I can just take it day by day. Um, I do have an end goal, and I have to get picked up there at a certain specified time, unless I hit them up on my inReach. Um, but other than that, I got plenty of time. So it's a pretty gray day. I didn't plan on just staying here, having this as a rest day. And I don't know that I will still. It's 10 in the morning, so it's a very late start already. But I don't have to travel far either. My only thing is, this is a really nice spot. And if I'm only moving a couple hours down the, lake, down the river, might not find a nice spot like this and what's the point but it still is early in the day as you can probably see I've decided to move along it's 11 o'clock We'll see how far I get. It's no big deal. I just don't feel like sitting around just yet. Well, it's a pretty gloomy day, but I'm happy about it. It means there's, it's less hot. I can wear my sweater. Always like wearing my green hoodie, you know? There's no bugs. There's some mosquitoes at camp, but no black flies at least. And it's pretty windy too, so keeping them down. Be a good day for traveling. So maybe I'll, I'll travel a little bit later today, considering I started a little bit later. We shall see what the day brings. Can you fish a, catch a, catch a fish a day? Can you catch a fish a day? Do you like to catch a fish a day? Do you like to Catch a fish a day? This is a pretty nice portage we're on. And look at this. That looks like some relatively fresh wolf poop. Keep on our way. This is just another short 100 meter portage. 
a lot of short portages for the first half of my trip. Then near the end it gets pretty sloggy and boggy from what I'm told. Look at the moss. Those are all logs laying down with moss on them. Tons and tons of thick moss back in here. Just at the end of this portage, there's a inflow coming into this rapid. Looks like a good spot to catch a walleye or two. See if we can't pull one out. Bam. Got one. Cool, cool. On the board for today. Pretty little spot. Boop. I've been using this little uh, Locleo. It's kind of brass and magenta colors. Purple, if you will. But I think I want to switch that off for this little jiggy guy. It's got some hair on it and some tendrils <laughs> so let's see if we can't get a walleye with this that looks yummy right if you were mr wally would you eat that okay i got a decent fish on here i think this is the first fish i've caught trolling on this trip i threw up my wally diver once i came around the corner i uh, passed some rocks and i was trolling and it hit hard and it's been on the line for a good minute I think it's gonna go on another run here. Oh, just a nice walleye. Nice walleye. Another walleye. Let's let him go. I believe that's the seventh fish I've caught. And another burn here. It suits the day though. There are some blue sky. Not much, but some. Bruce told us that we were the only people in the park as far as he knows. So that's pretty cool. This place is huge, man. Very big. I've always wanted to come here ever since I saw uh, Les Stroud, Survivor Man. He, him and his, that, at, at, at the time, wife, uh, did something called snowshoes and solitude and they lived here or right near here in this Wabakimi area for a year through the winter and the summer and just primitive stuff that they built and a couple other things but pretty interesting and that like what was one of the things that really sparked my interest in the outdoors or getting hardcore into the outdoors back early on anyways this place is rich in First Nations history and trading history. A lot of these portage routes that I'm walking on are not made by people for this park. They've been made back in the day when there was actually needs for portaging because that's how people lived here. Natives and again, traders, fur traders and pioneers. Very interesting history here. actually kind of bright when I woke up this morning when I first came out of my tent there was a bald eagle in the tree right above my uh, tent and I, I stirred him up I scared him away when I got up but pretty cool places alive with animals and good fishing I have a good feeling about this place and about this trip Real pretty in here. Looks like it burned like 
eight or ten years ago, maybe. I could be wrong on that, but roughly there. I got a big pike. Nice pike, little chunker. He's going back in. Nice. That island in front of me, heavily treed. That's what all of this would have looked like before the burn. Another pike. Back in he goes. I assume you can see the sky behind me and see how very dark it's getting and the winds uh, was picking up for a minute there anyways I'm kind of like a sitting duck out here uh, I'm okay with getting wet but like I, I do have rain jacket and rain pants I can throw on and my camera's kind of out and exposed so I, I want to find a spot to pull over and get all that stuff ready um, but on my map it says there's a portage coming up pretty soon, a 100 meter portage. So I'm just trying to make it there, excuse me, so I don't have to find a spot to pull over and do all that. So we're just trying to beat the whatever kind of weather's coming in here. Putting the pedal to the metal for the first time in this trip. Yeah, there's the wind. It's out my back, which has been the case, and I'm happy for that. Ooh, that's pretty. We're at the portage now, I can tell by the cut wood up there. The sure tell sign. I have no idea what the weather's doing. I don't think it knows either. ready for lunch. This is my food bag. I have two Kevlar bags inside here that I have my food in plus a little bit extra. It's a lot of food. I could have probably done a little bit less but I didn't know. I didn't know about the fishing or whatnot so I knew it was gonna be good. I just, I don't know, every time I've relied on fish for, for the majority of my food it's been a, a hard go. So anyways, I got what I need and uh, I'm sure I'll eat most of it. I want to make a sandwich. There's some black flies here. Yeah, that's all my food for roughly two weeks, 10, 15 days. All right, we got some Montreal smoked meat on flatbread with Monty Jack jalapeno cheese and I'm sure a couple black flies will make their way in there too. Montreal smoked beef sandwich. Look at that, it's thick. Can't have too much mustard on your smoked meats. This cheese is not long for this world I imagine so it might as well Put two pieces on today and live a little bit. I got more cheese too. Come on, come on. All right, that's a hearty sandwich. Swifts here. A little bit of moving water for me to run. Nothing crazy.
lot of headwind now, nothing too crazy, but uh, you can definitely notice it. This boat is weighed down to the max. Ooh, the backflip. Got a fish on. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look at the little guy. Look at the little baby, little baby, baby, baby. Now that's a snot rocket. Well, it's 4.30, I think I'm about done for the day. I'm gonna go check out this point. The map says good campsite. So we'll go see. Looks like it was a burn, but there's still a few trees holding on at the very end there. So it's pretty windy. I might need to set up my tarp for some wind and rain protection. Decent fire pit, nice and tall, block the wind. This is uh, pretty much the only part that's actually treed right here. This is the part of the reason I brought the hammock, so I think this will be all right. Um, I'll tie off with the hammock and the tarp, just kind of hang out under there for a while. Uh, I could definitely still set the tent up if I want, but I can just sleep in a hammock. It's no big deal either way. So we'll see what I want to do later on. But right as of now, I think I'm just going to get everything in, set up the tarp, and then uh, go under there with the hammock, maybe my chair, maybe even the bush buddy and cook on that tonight. Who knows? So yeah, I'll get situated here. Call it home. With the way the sky looks, I'd be more in a rush to get this tarp up Except for the reason it's looked like this all day long already, so it's kind of normal. Anyways, we'll get this up. Got a super handy dandy way of attaching this tarp. This tarp is from UGQ Outdoor. They make my top quilts, my under quilts, hammock supplies, this tarp. Good people. Made in Michigan. The tarp has these two little rings on it. And this is my toggle from Kyle's tarp. One side's on either side. This gets pulled taut. And Joe's your uncle. Seems good. It's pretty easy to adjust this one for the most part. This is awesome. <laughs> well worth it putting it up. Super sheltered in here. Nice and comfy. And I can certainly feel the warmth from the uh, underquilt underneath me, so I have no kind of convection heat loss. Ooh, lots of bugs. So. Nice and comfy. I want to write in my journal that my mom got me for my birthday. Thanks, mom. Appreciate it. I'm going to read my book. The Lonely Land by Sigurd F. Olson. And I'm going to look at my map, my progress that I've made, and where I think I should be, and where I'm going to go tomorrow. But I left around 11, so... For five hours, five and a half hours. That took me a minute. That t shouldn't have taken me that long. <laughs> Anyways, to think of it, not paddle. To think of it. I'm losing my mind. Day two. It's raining. There's some pretty wicked wind a second ago, too. I'm just uh, 
So we're writing in the old journal here. I'm gonna keep track of each day what's going on. Really, really happy I put this hammock up with the tarp. Like I could chill in here all day now and I'm cool. I could even sleep in here, which I might do. I passed out. It's after eight now at night. I slept for like two hours. So I imagine I'll be pretty awake tonight. I have to get supper and everything. I just can't force myself awake. It's hard for me to get up. We'll get up here in a couple minutes and get food. Before it gets dark. I'm sure I still have a few hours actually of light. Super cozy in there. Really happy I brought that set up. This is a piece of uh, dead standing that stood through the fire, the forest fire. Very dry. We'll have a nice fire. Get rid of some of the black flies, stay up a little late. Hopefully, get watch the sunset, get into some colors. And uh, yeah, maybe even make up some food. I snacked on some jerky and stuff when I got up. I'm not really that hungry. I don't, I don't know. I feel kind of. Weird. It might be from the black fly bites. I only have a few, but I'm not sure. I'm not too hungry though, so. Anyways, sit up for a while. Glad I had a nap. I would have definitely been asleep already if I waited if I waited to go to bed. It's uh it's almost eleven. It's twenty to eleven right now. <laughs> There's no way I would have been able to stay up to see any kind of night times if I uh, I don't switch up my sleeping schedule a little bit. So I'll stay up for another couple hours probably tonight. And hit the hay, wake up a little bit later tomorrow, and uh, maybe maybe start that schedule so that I can, I don't know, maybe I won't wake up later because I took the, the nap, but maybe I'll still get up early, but I'll be glad to at least see one sunset. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see a couple more. Mm. I'm eating... Uh, a meal I made myself... My Will baked some chicken breasts for me, and then I sh after they cooled down, I shredded them with forks into like little tiny pieces, shreds, as it were, and I dehydrated that. Then I put it with dehydrated vegetables and rice, and I put in some seasoning at home, and I rehydrated it here, and I left it a little bit wet, and it's almost like a chicken soup. I'll put some more seasoning here, some garlic and some seasoning salt. And it's really good. It's really, really good. There's corn, carrots, beans, peas, chicken, and rice.
I couldn't help it. I had to get out for a little paddle. Maybe, maybe do a little bit of fishing. I'm not going to go far just into this little bay next to my camp. It is amazing how much different this boat performs without all that weight in it. Like it is a whole different boat. A whole different boat. Mmm. I found a s'more waiting for me when I got back. Oh yeah. Mm. Before I walked out the door, my wife handed me a pack of things to make s'mores out of. If you guys remember, on my 10 day trip a couple years ago, she, they gave me a, a care package for my birthday and told me not to open it. My birthday was the last day I was out there. I was out there for 10 days. And uh, I couldn't wait. I opened it. And I was glad that I did because inside it they had given me things to make s'mores with. And obviously I'm supposed to be hanging everything with food in it away from where I'm camping, not sleeping with this package that was wrapped up. <laughs> So anyways, this time they, they told me. <laughs> it's almost midnight. Sit up for another little bit. Not too tired just yet. I'm going back. 